Well, hello, my beautiful Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career reading for the end of February right through to the end of March 2023. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I will never ask for personal details. And I will also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. <laughs> Okay, my beautiful Capricorn, this is your career reading. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. But just to let you know, you're currently being influenced by your third house, which is all about communication. So you may find yourself negotiating better deals when it comes to work or finding better working practices, managing stress levels and making sure that your ideas are heard and that you're getting the best value for the effort that you're putting in in your career. Uh, also, this house indicates um, you know better opportunities coming on in quick trips so some of you may take like a quick vacation or uh, a quick break in order to really think things through and take a, a little bit of a rest before you recharge your batteries and get moving forward on a project also, you may feel compelled to take a course of learning. Some of you may open yourself up to honing the skills that you've already got, or you may reach out and try to uh, gain new qualifications or a certificate that helps you increase your earning power in your career sector. That is also connected to your ninth house because uh, that kind of takes over from your third house as we move throughout uh, the month of March. Now, the ninth house is all about the quest for meaning, that cosmic question, where do we belong? Along, and you're going to apply that energy to your career as well. So you're going to be looking at the bigger picture, your bigger goals, and asking yourself, how far away are you from uh, creating your destiny? How far are you from actually being on target with your goals? What do you need to do to get to where you want to go? And how far you've come so far? And be proud of the journey that you've already taken. Now, that ninth house also connects to higher learning. So um, as I said, it partners up with that third house. So you will feel compelled to learn more about your craft and, um, you know, sorry about the motorcyclist, uh, definitely overcompensating for something because their engine seems to get louder and louder every time they go up and down the street. So I, I do apologize about that. Um, but I can see already with the, the, the ninth house, uh, you've got the card of the higher calling. So that is judgment card. Okay. And we've got the shadow self. Now the shadow self, that is the devil card, but it is also is a Capricorn card. So I actually feel the energy from this. It's all about you being empowered and, you know, taking your career by storm, really, you know, um, making a unique statement, shall we say, in your career that lets everybody know that you mean business. I feel definitely you're working smarter and not harder in this situation. Now, I'm just going to go get the rest of your cards, but already they're showing me an image in the water, which is of a photocopy machine. Okay. Um, now, a photocopy machine uh, can mean that you're literally listening to this reading by the photocopier, um, or it can mean that you don't want to be a carbon copy of just everybody else. You're doing something different in your career. You're trying to shake things up. Some of you may feel that you haven't reached your full potential in your career, and you feel that the market is oversaturated at the moment, and um, you may feel that you need to do something differently to shine when it comes to your career, so you stand out above the rest. Um, now, also, that my guides are giving me the sense that business increases rapidly, full steam ahead. That's what they're giving me this energy of. Business increases rapidly, full steam ahead. That's what I'm hearing. So um, 
this indicates that your business, whether you work for yourself or whether you, you know, are an entrepreneur, whether you are someone who works for a company, um, things are going to pick up pace and there's going to be a lot of interesting opportunities that come your way that you'll be very curious about over the next six weeks, okay? Uh, thanks so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know about their career? Okay. Um, oh, look at that. Loving this energy. There's something being offered to you or something, it's like something you're curious about that it's like a lucky break, but I feel like you worked really hard to get here in the first place. It's divine timing. It shows up. There's something to celebrate for you. Um, there's some really good news. That three cups tells me that something connected to your calling, your life's purpose is actually showing up for you. And it's, it's really empowering. I mean, you've even got the empowerment card there, which is about the search for meaning and direction. This is the chariot card. So this is your protagonist energy. And I feel this is about your commitment to your goals and the energy that you put into everything that you do. You tend to pour your heart and soul into transforming your finances, but also in terms of, you know, the direction of your career. You are really hardworking. You're tenacious. And I get this energy of you, you know, moving towards tangible success, undeniable evidence that your goals will be reached and that your hard work will pay off. Now, this is the chariot card. So of course, this indicates that you are, you know, focused and committed and dedicated towards being successful and having a breakthrough and making progress. So I do feel right now that you are evaluating the direction that you're taking. You know, everybody seems to be getting a similar energy this month uh, because, well, I guess because, you know, the next full moon is the last moon of winter. So that does mean we're entering into the spring cycle. And that's when humans typically start to really reevaluate their course, look at the exchange that they're getting in terms of the hard work they're inputting and whether they're being financially recompensed. So I feel collectively everyone's really looking at reciprocity in their career. You know, all the effort that you put in, is it worth it? Or is there a better opportunity that brings better rewards elsewhere? So I feel like you're building confidence to get moving. Uh, this is a card of uh, travel. So some of you may think about relocating physically into a new job or a new opportunity, or you're having, you know, you may be looking at the job market right now and thinking, you know what, I'm motivated to move, or I want to initiate change in my career in some way. But there's a lot of competition. I really want you to be aware you're above the competition. Seven of Wands tells me that you're capable of going the distance and you're at your peak performance. You're at your personal best. So do not doubt yourself. Have courage in your skills and in your talents because you're really good at what you do, okay? Um, this card indicates that whilst you may be searching for direction or change in your career in some way, you are in the flow, okay? Um, some of you may want to stay where you're at, but you just need change because you feel that things are like, like that photocopy machine. You may feel like it's just a different day, but it's the same old thing. It just seems like you're just on repeat and you, you don't want to live in a repetitive cycle. Even though it brings security or stability, you may feel you're not um, reaching your full potential, or you may feel it's time to shake up the energy so that you can challenge yourself in a really, really positive way. Okay. Um, again, we've got this map. So I, I guess that this energy of you mapping your progress and needing to make some changes. Um, some of you may want to even bring a bit more travel into your work, um, your everyday cycle. So some of you may think about freelance work or seasonal work. There, there's an element of duality about your reading as well. So there may be a passion project or a creative thing that you really love to do, that you want to do. Um, I don't feel like it's a side hustle. I feel it's more important than a side hustle. I feel there's something that you really enjoy, that you really want to focus on. And I feel this is something that perhaps you're not telling anybody about, but it's going to be very, very successful indeed, okay? If you start to look at the synchronicities in your reading, you've got two strength cards here, and this indicates, um, you know, how can I put that? It's like an omen that have the courage to believe in yourself and you will receive all the accolades that you desire in your career. But I feel like you're not doing it for accolades or to be well known or to be seen. I feel like you're doing it as a personal, you know, 
it's like a personal development thing. You, you feel like you want to do something and you're proving to yourself that you can do it, that you will be successful and you shall be so. Seven of Wands also indicates there's been perhaps a lot of pressure in the working environment and you may have felt that you are working really hard towards something and um, you know, there's an element of independence about you as well. Seven of Wands says if people are not happy with the path that you're on or don't support you in some way or don't see that the way you do things is different from everybody else, that's their problem, okay? You know where you're going, you've got a plan and you're activating that plan. This is a card, again, of self-confidence, believing in yourself. This is also about defending your ideas and knowing that your ideas have value. This is a card also that indicates that you can go the distance, that you are not giving up on something, even though that there have been obstacles or difficulties along the way, you've got this. And yes, it has been pressurized, and yes, there have been some moments where you felt um, things were a bit of a battle or a bit of a strain, but I feel like you are uh, reshuffling your schedule or trying to find a way where you can bring a little bit more excitement or a little bit more spontaneity into your uh, working environments. Now, some of you, you may be going through appraisal time, okay? I'm just picking up appraisal energy right now. So if you are uh, going through an appraisal or you're about to go through an appraisal, I feel like uh, the person you're talking to, they're very sort of like poker faced. They're not really telling you how they feel about your work. Deep down, this person loves you. Uh, not as in a romantic love. I feel this person really appreciates your skill set. They see that you put hard work in, that you understand more about the working environment than everybody else. Uh, you have a lot of empathy. You're someone who is valuable in the working sector. They may not say it, they may hint at it, okay, in this appraisal. Know that you're doing a really good job and this person is trying to fast track you for either a bonus or some sort of raise, maybe even a promotion. This person really has your back. They do support you, okay? Um, and I, I get this sense that this person sees that you're strong enough to be a leader. So if you do work for yourself, I definitely get this sense that there is a very lucrative client or a project that comes on in for you that is gift, well, it's not gifted to you because you worked really hard for this, uh, but I feel uh, this is something that uh, you're calling in because you're in the right place in your career to accept it. You're strong enough to accept it. And I feel, you know, there's a lot of people wanting this position or this opportunity, but it's meant for you and it will not pass you by because it is meant for you, okay? Now, the strength card, it's number eight, which means you're focused on yourself. Uh, I mean, if you look here, you've got double numbers. Um, you've got double seven, double eight, okay? Um, and what I mean by you're focused on yourself is you're making sure that you are implementing healthier working practices. So you're trying to keep an eye on your stress levels. You're trying to, uh, you know, make sure that you're working in an environment that values you. And with the, um, with the strength card, I'm really getting this sense that you have unlimited resources to accomplish whatever it is you set out to do. It's like a boost of energy or a buildup of momentum. And I feel you've got the strength to go the distance in a career that perhaps is very, very difficult for anybody to really accomplish, but you will, you will be at the top of your game, okay? Um, oh, thank you so much, I'm sure grateful. They're giving me a song straight away. Take nothing less than the supreme best because you can pass the test. Just, oh, well, I can't. Just move on up, I think it said. Just move on up, just move on up. Yeah, it's a, oh my gosh, I nearly sang there for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, nobody needs to hear that. Um, a singer I will not make. Uh, okay. Okay, um, it's Curtis Mayfield, that's it. it. I know this song, it's very, very famous. It's very like, um, yeah, it's, it's a great song, great motivating song as well. So you're moving on up for sure. But again, I'm, I'm, I'm holding the strength card. So this really does indicate that you are taking nothing less than the best, the best position because you are the best person for the job. And I feel you're going, you're reaching bigger goals at this time, the bigger picture. So that song is relevant because you may hear it on the radio or you may hear it uh, as you're walking down the sidewalk and it's on a car as it passes or it's in the mall. This song, you're gonna notice it. 
and it actually indicates there's something to celebrate in your career. Now, some of you may be headhunted because we do have the page of swords because I feel like your reputation precedes you. You're really good at what you do and people are talking about you behind your back in a really good way. So if there's like a lucrative project that's on the table for the offering, people are whispering behind your back like Capricorn, they got this. This is a project for them. They're the people that can do it and they can do it right. They can make it successful. Or, you know, um, it can be also that your boss is talking behind your back to give you a raise or a promotion or elevate you in some way. So I really got this sense that there is movement. And if you work for yourself and you're an entrepreneur, I really get a sense that you are far reaching in your career and that people are actually noticing you. It's like word of mouth, clients coming to you because you're so good at what you do. Now, uh, my guides are literally pointing at the hand in the lion's mouth. So I do feel like there is a lot of word of mouth um, opportunities going on for you, but I feel like you're trying to do something really daring, something really different, and um, people may not understand the path that you're taking, but that's okay because you're doing something different. And have the courage of your convictions. I feel like you do already because this is your protagonist energy. You're feeling powered up. You're stepping into a different arena when it comes to your career sector. You got this. Now, we've got the... Uh, of course, uh, the courage card, it's in the resistance position. So you haven't always been this way. I feel like it's taken a while for you to believe in yourself. The, you may have struggled with something that was very, very difficult. Um, also, you know, uh, you have pride. I mean, we all have pride in a good way and in a bad way. You take pride in your work. So you never leave a job half done or unfinished. You're the sort of person you make sure it's finished because you care about your reputation. But there may have been something that perhaps did not go in your favor or uh, has angered you in the workplace. And you may feel like you have to defend yourself in some way. Um, so I'm just gonna pull a card on what that is. Now this could be someone who, um, because you've got a queen of cups here and it's in the reverse. So this could be someone who, um, has said something in the work environment that's made you feel a little bit insecure or made you question their motives. So I just want to pull a card on this. I feel like it's dirty tactics, okay? I feel anybody who tries to rock the boat with you, my beautiful Capricorn, it's because they feel like either you're a threat or they feel that you um, are capable of a lot of success and they wish it was theirs. They wish they could be the person that you are, that you're going to accomplish whatever this is. So but they just don't have the stamina. My guides just said they just don't have the stamina. They just don't have it in them because they're not willing to put in the work and you are, okay? I really feel like you're getting organized at this time as well. Six of Wands. There's a bit of jealousy. The Queen of Pentacles. You're moving on up. You're getting more money. You are someone who is multiplying your success. Uh, people are looking at you and noticing you. You're stepping into a new arena when it comes to your working environment. King of Wands. Yeah, you've got tenacity, drive. I feel like you're headed towards a very influential position in your career. And I just feel that there's someone here who is a little bit jealous. So just watch out for that. Rise above anybody who tries to knock you off your perch. Because remember, people don't try to knock people who are below them. They try to knock people who are above them because they feel threatened in some way. Um, with the Six of Wands, this indicates that you're on the road to success. You stand out from the crowd. Again, they're giving me this energy that you're above competition. And this card indicates that some really great news is coming. Unexpected great news is coming that will see you celebrate. Um, also, The Six of Wands indicates you are an influencer. You have got ideas that are unlike other people. And some people want you to remain in the shadows, but you know, talent just shines. It, it just happens. It just happens naturally. And you've got talent, you've got gifts. So you naturally stand out from the crowd. I don't care what you do for a living. Um, it's more about you being really good at what you do, being like the master of your craft and people notice that. People notice people who are naturally talented and you're just that. The Queen of Pentacles indicates, you know, your plans are going to bear fruit. I also feel like, yes, you're very hardworking, but you're also being very discerning about what you take and what you don't take, what projects are important to you and what are not. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who naturally attracts more wealth and you want to live a comfortable lifestyle. 
So I feel this is also about protecting your ideas from anybody who feels like they do not support you because they may try to take credit for what you do. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, some of you want to work from home or you're trying to find a way to work from home. So you may be trying to fi find ideas that really stand out amongst a sea of ideas and you will be an influencer. King of Wands there indicates that you know your passion leads the way. You march to the beat of your own drum. You're someone who is very independent, and um, you know you're a natural born leader. This is leadership experience. You're on the up, and some of you, I mean, some of you may be in the sports field because they're in indicating sports energy right now as well. So some of you may even get a sponsorship deal, or uh, you know, I feel whatever competitive environment you work in, you're being elevated you're being noticed you are influencing a circumstance with your talent that will draw money and accolades i mean some of you may not want to be famous but if you do or if you do want to be famous i feel there is a shift on your true calling and i feel people are starting to notice you and see you and value what you bring to the table and i feel you're having a lucky break, okay? For those of you who do not want to be famous, I feel it's more about your reputation. I get an energy here that people know that you get the job done, that you're really good, you're the best at what you do, and uh, it will bring more financial reward. But because we've got a Queen of Pentacles there, sorry, a Queen of Pentacles and a Queen of Cups and a King of Wands, I really just want to pull a card on this because I feel actually behind the scenes, you have a lot of support. There may be that one person who's like me, a little bit grumbly because they wish it was them, but I feel ultimately you have a lot of people championing your corner. So I just want to pull a quick card on those dynamics, okay? Queen of Cups tends to mean that um, you're trying to protect a dream or a goal, or you've, you've got something that you love that you want to do, and you may feel a little bit insecure as to whether it'll work out, but I see it working out for you. I see a lot of success here. I see you stepping into your power and making your dreams and goals become a reality. Look at that. I mean, they're picking up on the energy right now, which is nine of swords, something you're worried about. Don't worry about it. Your wishes are going to be coming true. You know, your desires are actually becoming a reality. So the Nine of Swords says, get some sleep, you know, change that negative self-talk, really believe in yourself because you're about to receive everything that you've been visualizing and working hard towards all of this time. Can you please show me the three people? Can you please show me the three people? King of Swords, they've been watching. Okay, this person sees the truth. They're in powerful positions. Um, whether this is uh, people you work with or people in your industry, you're being noticed. Also, they want to expand opportunities for you. This is a card of being honest and analyzing um, your progress. So I really feel these people have been watching and they've been noticing that you are someone who is elevating throughout the ranks uh, quite quickly. And they're very decisive, these people they sometimes change their mind on a dime, but there's one thing that is consistent with these people. They see talent, they know talent when they see it, and I feel like they know that you're about to rise, okay? Now, this could be you rising to a managerial position or to a partnership position. Maybe um, if you are someone who runs your own business or you're an entrepreneur, I feel within your industry, you are fast becoming known for what you do, and you're the go-to person, or you will be very, very soon. Uh, the Queen of Cups indicates there is a dream that perhaps you're protecting at this time or you're you're not going to give up on it but you may not be telling people about your true goals because you don't want anyone to jinx it or you know you feel you want to protect it because you know it's something that means a lot to you and with the temperance card there you've been patiently working towards this and for some of you you may have felt that um frustrated because there's been a bit of imbalance or you may feel that there's a lot of competition or there's just been excess things for you to do you've been really busy and there's something else that you really want to focus on so for some of you you may be in a job that perhaps is very high powered, but at the same time, there's like a passion project that is really something more than a passion project, but you may have felt that you've had no time to connect it to it. You will find time, and I feel it's something that's going to be, um, you know, 
emotionally very rewarding for you, but I also feel it brings in a lot of money as well, long term. Now, the Temperance card indicates that you are in a transition period, okay? You're trying to keep balance and you, um, when it comes to your finances, I feel a lot of you are, you know, trying to keep a tight rein on your spending because um, you know that you want to put those finances into something greater. Uh, this could be into obviously a savings account or your pension, um, but I feel a lot of you are looking at how you spend your finances and making sure that you do not overspend or spend needlessly on things that you do not want. I mean, you don't need me to tell you that price of living's going up, there's an inflation, all of those things, but I feel like you're keeping an eye on that and you're being very savvy with your budget. So I definitely see you uh, having a little bit more money in your account as you move throughout the rest of March. More money than you've had before is what they're showing me. And I feel something you've been patiently and diligently working towards is actually uh, becoming a reality for you. Um, I feel like you're right on time, even though some of you may feel there's been a bit of a delay, I feel like you're right on time, okay? Now we do have the higher calling card, so that is the judgment card. This indicates that um, you know, you're clear on what direction you really wanna take. So if you have been asking questions or feeling that you are trying to find direction in your career, you will have the answers you seek by the end of March. Um, I see a lot of you doing something that you love and making money out of it. And you know this is a, a self-evaluation period where you're at the fork in the road, where you're reaching for something new, something greater. And in order to do that, you need to reshuffle things or reconstruct your time or be organized and really kind of get clear on what you want. Cut out anything that's a distraction because nothing is going to distract you from the success that you truly desire. This is a card of evolution. You're moving forward and you're making progress. But there's something inside that you feel called to do and you will be doing it and it's going to feel very rewarding. Um, also, this card indicates some of you may return to something that you used to love doing, something that perhaps um, you, you're very, well, you're very good at it, you're very talented at it, but you may have taken like another job to pay the bills, but there may be something here that you really long to do, you will return to that, okay? And it will be very lucrative. It may have felt like it did not work the last time that you tried it, but this time it's going to work for you and it's, it's, it's going to be super rewarding. And I feel you're on your soul path. You're on your life's purpose path. Uh, a lot of you may feel that you're um, you know, having a bit of a wake up call or an awakening in your career, but it actually brings you home to yourself and what you do. I feel like you're putting like that special Capricorn stamp on what you do, your reputation. I keep getting this energy that your reputation precedes you, okay? Um, now, as I touch this card, interesting, they're showing me um, an is it amethyst tree? Yeah, it's looking like an amethyst tree. So this is actually very lucky. It tends to mean good fortune, uh, good luck, career, yeah, especially in career. And I mean, trees tend to represent wealth, um, knowledge. So you're using your special set of skills, everything that you have within you, your brilliance, your creativity, your originality that spark of vision within you to create something very special. Uh, but again, I feel the time is now. Um, now, because we do have, it's the devil card, of course, um, it doesn't always have to be a negative card. What it can mean is you're feeling stuck in some area of your career, or you may feel there's a little bit of doubt that sometimes surfaces to get in the way of your progress. Number one, believe and receive. But I just definitely get this energy of you obsessively working towards your goals and trying to pay attention to anything that is trying to distract you. And you're trying to cut it out, okay? I feel like you're trying to control the situation or trying to find a schedule that really helps you work smarter, not harder. Uh, I'm going to pull a card on this because I feel you're becoming aware of a temptation. And the temptation I feel is to sometimes overanalyze. I feel you've come to the conclusion in some area of your life as you metamorphosize um, that time spent in indecision or leads to no decision and you're wasting time. So I feel you're going to take a leap of faith in some area of your life. Let me just, I feel it's actually 
you know, your career. Some of you, it may be that you want to move into a new job opportunity, or some of you, it may be to relocate where you work. Seven of Pentacles is self-evaluation. Yeah. I'm picking up this energy of walking away from something because you're looking at all the effort that you've put in and seeing that it's bearing some fruit, but it may not be bearing the fruit that you thought it would be. Uh, for some of you, I mean, because I'm, I'm seeing, and this is not for everybody, it can be that real estate, I'm seeing real estate here. Some of you may be looking at going into real estate or you've gone into real estate and you found it is super hard work and you're overloaded. So some of you may walk, you know, walk away from managing it or controlling it and maybe even get somebody else to manage it so that you can focus on other goals. Yeah. There's something else coming on in here. You're walking away or you're moving to do something better or to do something that is less struggle, more reward is what I'm picking up, okay? Eight of Cups, if you're not fulfilled, you're walking away from it. If it doesn't align with your values, you're walking away from it. You're not allowing anything to distract you. Uh, Eight of Cups, normally the figure walks straight into the Nine of Cups and you already got that, so I feel like you're getting a wish delivered. Seven of Pentacles, again, okay? Uh, this is all about the self-evaluation. Is there an alternative? But I do feel some of you have got many fingers in many pies, and I feel you're actually, you know, you've got duality here, which means you may be doing two things at the same time that actually will be very rewarding long-term. Page of Pentacles, curious about something new or starting a new project. I get a sense here of your effort paying dividends. Um, Page of Pentacles can also be you applying for study or doing something um, studious that will bring a, a contract or a certificate or um, some sort of qualification that helps you earn bigger than what you're getting at the moment. Uh, but Page of Pentacles is to start to see the fruits of your labor or a new project take off. Okay, but everything starts with a plan, and I feel like you've got that t that plan. You know, I put I can't feel a negative energy with your Capricorn uh, Devil card here. I feel it's more about looking at your doubts and your fears, or anything that's been holding you back inside of your head. That negative um, voice that sometimes we all have. Just when we're about to be successful, the ego pops up and says, "But what if you fail?" Somehow the ego wants to draw us back sometime and it's about overcoming it. It's like a test, okay? And I feel like you're passing the test. You're not listening to that little voice. You are believing in yourself and knowing that you can accomplish whatever it is you set out to do. We do have a page of swords here, which is really about, um, you know, investigating new options or investigating this new plan. I do get a sense that a lot of you are being headhunted or your reputation actually sees you being victorious in some way. Page of Swords is really a card of a new focus. So I feel like you have completed a task or a goal or reached a climax in your career because you get some really good news and then you're on to the next because you're ever moving forward. And But I do feel that with the higher calling and your ninth house, you're, you've really got this quest for meaning. Does what I do add value? And if it doesn't, how can I change it up? How can I you know rearrange the circumstances? Now, if you do not want to leave where you're at, I really feel like you're holding true to your position and you're going to elevate. I feel like you get some sort of message that you will celebrate about your career that it's like a chain reaction. One thing leads to another thing, leads to another thing, and you're just gonna be in like a period of celebrating little wins that lead to a big win um, in your career. Now, I'm only picking the uprights in this deck, of course. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. It's that way up. So this indicates a lucky break, something surprising you out of the blue, some sort of good news that really makes you curious. I think this is an offer you can't refuse, um, whatever this is, And but it, it feels like the big one. It feels like something you've been waiting for or work, you know, really working towards. This is prosperity coming in. Um, it's not an easy gain. I feel like you've w worked really hard for this, but... I'm going to pull another card with the Wheel of Fortune because sometimes when you get a card like the Wheel of Fortune in a financial reading, it does mean easy come, easy go, okay? So I feel like you're trying to watch your spending and be um, careful with your budget. But let's see what's coming out there. Can you please clarify this Wheel of Fortune? <clears throat> Seven of Swords. Okay. So <laughs> this card, the Seven of Swords... 
it keeps popping out for some people. Now, I'm getting this energy of quiet quitting. So some of you may be silently like leaving a situation that perhaps has not been good for you um, or has been a toxic environment and you feel it's time to move on. This card also, I mean, this card is it's given a bit of a bad rap, this card, because it does look like this person is stealing the swords, right? But the history of this card is this figure is actually taking the swords away because he wants to find an alternative way to find a solution with the army. Uh, they're all representing army figures and the swords. This person wants to diplomatically resolve a situation. So I feel like this person's misunderstood. And I feel sometimes, my beautiful Capricorn, you are misunderstood in the way that you want to do things. And that's okay. As I said, that's it's your journey, not other people's. So however people judge you, that's their thing, not yours. But the Seven of Swords also indicates don't go too quickly, otherwise you may miss something or, um, you know, it's like slow down because this figure is capable of carrying six swords. He's already got three swords in one hand, two swords in the other. He's leaving two behind. He could potentially take a third sword in that hand because he has already with the other one, but he has to move in stealth mode. So it's like you may miss something. So for example, some of you, if you've decided to leave your current employment and you're taking all your things and you know it's like a stealthy move or you're moving quite quickly onto the next project, you may leave something that perhaps you want in your, you may leave it in the company by accident and you'll have to sort of write to them or email them and say, hey, I left this thing in my drawer. I'm really sorry, could you send it to me? So if I feel like you're trying to leave something on good terms though, uh, that's popping out there as well. But Seven of Swords can mean that there is perhaps some underhanded play or behavior in a working environment or that you're keeping your eye on. Uh, remember, that person is jealous. That's what I'm picking up. Knight of Wands, you're passionate about what you do, you're holding true to your vision, and you're unstoppable. Some of you are taking um, a freelance approach, project-based work, um, or you're trying to do something that is like on the side and it's going to be very, very lucrative. Queen of Swords indicates you're being direct about what you want. Um, you're being clear and you're self-sufficient. Also, it indicates you're being super organized and you know knowing that you're sticking to a plan. You're being honest and you're using all your resources wisely to make sure that you can get what you truly de desire in all of your endeavors. The Five of Cups indicates sometimes things don't go your way, but there's no point in looking at all the things that have not been going well in your career because there's something better, something more rewarding that is showing up for you that you're not even aware of just yet. And whilst things may have been difficult in your career or there may have been a disappointment or even a shortage of opportunities that you feel is a little bit upsetting at this time, suddenly the right opportunity appears for you. It is no accident that you have got the Six of Cups, which means the universe sends um, an opportunity your way, something that is perfect for you. This could also manifest in the form of a, a colleague that you used to work with or a friend from the past. Someone comes in to offer you something and it's a perfect match. As you can see, you've got the lover's card, which basically means something you're manifesting is showing up for you. Something you desire with all of your heart is attracted to you at this time. It's the equivalent of the two of cups energy. And you've got the two of cups right there. So I really feel if you're leaving a situation or you're setting up business on your own, you're attracting the right circumstances for you to thrive and be very, very successful. So I feel there's a lucky break. There's an opportunity that just lands in your path and you are ready to take it. Uh, we got the three of cups there, celebration, but also, also I get this sense that, you know, um, that wherever you work, even if it's a toxic environment, I feel like there are a group of you that stick together and maybe have even been documenting um, any negative behavior so you can build a case and go to HR or take it further if you want to. But there's more of a positive energy here where you're gonna be sharing good news with your family, with your friends, people who matter in your life. Three of Cups indicates uh, you know, a time of success, of celebrating um, your wins and reaching a common goal. For some of you, if you're in business with other people, there may be two or three people uh, together in a unit, 
I feel like some sort of good news comes your way. I'm going to pull one more card for you because I feel like you're actually um, using all your resources to come out on top in a career move. Empress energy, look at that, abundance, something you've been working towards comes to fruition. All the seeds that you've sown in your career comes to uh, a point of maturity. Uh, so some of your, I mean, this could literally be your investments are maturing and they're bringing a lot of money uh, attached to them. This is a card of you putting yourself first or your own needs first to make sure that you work in a healthy environment, managing stress levels and managing pressure so that you can get the best out of a situation. You know, we spend many, many time, many, many hours in work. So we may as well do something that is good for us, right? Or that we feel like we're making a difference. Because if you're constantly working in a negative or toxic environment, it's chipping away at your soul and your morale and your motivation. So I feel like you're really trying to work in an environment that, <clears throat> excuse me, promotes growth, that promotes progress. So if you feel like you've reached a glass ceiling or a plateau in your career, I feel like you're actually smashing through that and finding alternative opportunities that best suit your talent. Because as I said, talent rises, you cannot stop it. So I feel like you may have outgrown a situation or a working practice and uh, the changes that you make will actually align you with more abundance, okay? This is harvest time for you, reaping the rewards of all of your hard work. So I'm just gonna go and get a final card before we close. Also, there could be, um, I'm getting two energies here. There is a feminine energy that, and male or female, this is not a gender specific reading, but I do feel like there's a feminine energy that really has your back. They're really supportive in your career. I mean, this could be someone who has a professional relationship with you. It could be uh, someone that you're in a relationship with yourself, or it could even be like your mom or your feminine guardian. But there's someone here who's really championing you from the sidelines, and it's just really beautiful. Uh, their energy is actually helping as well with your manifestations is what they're showing me. Now, there's the tree, okay? That's the tree that I was seeing. I mean, it's not made of amethyst in this card, but it's a golden tree. They're also showing me an image that, I swear, it's probably an emoji. Um, but anyway, they're showing me like, you know, like, a mm. It's like a wad of dollar bills, but it, I can't see the, the nomination of it. What I can see is like, I definitely know that they are money or currency. It could be any currency, but they're actually showing me like dollar on it and those wings attached to it. So I feel like it's the way they're showing me, it looks like an emoji. So someone may have texted you an emoji with do dollars flying or money flying. Um, I feel like this is about your finances elevating rather than just flying out of your account. Okay. So that's what I feel because you're leaving your energy on a real high here. So I feel like you're being careful with spending. But that emoji, I feel this could be an increase in your money or um, your ideas have value and they're taking off, lucrative ideas taking off. So pay close attention. These signs and symbols that I see in the water as I'm scrying, they may mean nothing to you in this moment, but then suddenly you may get like an emoji that someone sends you or you see that picture or that image on a billboard or on a TikTok thing online or something and suddenly you get news in your career that shows that you're elevating or you're making progress or that lucrative deal comes in and you're like, yes, I did it. You're going to feel proud of yourself. So pay close attention to, you know, the songs that come in, um, the images that show up for you. They mean something. Uh, now we've got watch. Okay, so you're being very careful with your time, as I said, organized. And it says here, it's time to profit. Lovely. Divine timing sees the moment. Waiting period, temp work. And if you've been laid off, now's the time to profit. So either by setting up your own business or actually uh, stepping into a more lucrative one than before. If you have um, come to this reading, I don't see anyone losing their job. But if you have lost your job before you've come to this reading, I feel like now is a time where you're gonna step into a new role that brings more money and power in a situation, okay? It gives you an opportunity to express yourself in a very unique way. And finally, we've got the tree. So they were showing me that amethyst tree, but I mean, this is 
an image of a tree. So they are highlighting that there is wealth increase for you. It says here, financial growth coming to fruition, abundance, outdoors, jobs, family business, and stability. So if you do work, as I said, you could work with people that you care about, um, could be family members or just your team. I feel like everything is slotting into place and working out for you. There is wealth and financial expansion for you as well, okay? Now, just before I move on to the trinkets, they're showing me a rainbow cake, a rainbow cake. So someone out there may be just literally helping themselves to a slice of rainbow cake. It looks delicious. It's making my mouth water. That's, you know, maybe that's the point. Maybe there's a mouth watering, mouth watering opportunity coming on in that's going to bring a lot of good luck. Um, but I mean, it's a slice of cake is what I'm seeing. You know what I'm seeing? I'm actually seeing not the slice of cake. I'm seeing the slice taken out of the cake and the whole cake on the side. So I feel like you're getting a piece of good luck or it can mean that, I mean, the rainbow cake represents like peace, equality, happiness, good fortune, maybe even sweet reward after everything's been divvied up and like tax has been taken out of it and all of that, you know, you always look at the piece of the pie and you think, oh, I've earned this much, but once I pay my tax, my insurance, my healthcare, my bills, my, you know, everything, it's like piece of the pie, piece of the pie, it's like being chomped down and you're looking at what you're left with. But I feel you're actually being left with a little bit more than you thought you would be over the next couple of weeks, okay? So I'll leave it there. I'm just gonna go and get a trinket for you. I hope something resonates for you in this reading. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Also that image of that cake, you may see one as you're passing a bakery or um, you may see, you know, you may even go to work and a colleague has brought one in. So this cake, it is a symbol. It doesn't have to be literal. It can be like in the now. It can be in the next six weeks or so, a colleague just comes in and brings in a rainbow cake or you see one in the bakery or you see one on a billboard or an image or a, you know, a meme or, you know, a reel or something like that. It symbolizes something good coming for your career. Uh, we got the fleur de lis. That's perfect. That's emperor energy. This is about you being on top of your game. This is also being, you know, your strategy is a winning one and you're stepping into success, okay? Leadership energy right there. So I love all this energy that's coming through for you. I hope something resonates. Thank you so much, my beautiful Capricorn, and love and light.